moved 15 feet of line with a seven foot six rod. If you really want to get technical, you can move more line than that, okay? That is a lot of line to pick up. But this stuff, this hook set, forget all that. You want this. And I think if you would, if you would use that hook set with all of your hooks, I think you'd become a lot more efficient at hooking, hooking fish, even, even if you aren't using a double action hook. Try to pick up as much line. People, people put a lot of pressure on those hook sets. But you're really, you're trying to pick up as much line as you can. That amount of force right there with any premium hook is going to hook your catfish. Now the other thing you can do with the double action hook is you can just let them bury the rod. And when they bury the rod, it starts pulling out drag. And he's pulling out drag, you know he's hooked. Okay? They work equally as well all three ways. That's what makes we feel like what makes the double action hook a superior hook in the catfishing world. Now I want to talk a little bit about a product that I know you all saw with the fish grips on here. You saw us handling these catfish on this video with the fish grips. Well, this is the first grip designed to float, number one. That's important, really important, because there's a lot of fish grips on the market that sink like a rock. Big time. That are a lot more expensive than fish grip. I think we testify to that right back there. Okay, the fish grip has got a very strong lanyard on it. And when you do reach down for a catfish, whether it's in the dip net or you're pulling it over the side of the boat, the lanyard's really strong. Make sure you got this lanyard on your wrist. These lanyards are put in with brass pins. And I've, I've, I've had these catfish swimming around under the water when they jerked it out of my hands. But where they would have jerked it out of my hands and I didn't have the lanyard on, he would have swum off with my fish grip. So make sure you put the lanyard on your wrist. Okay? Now what can you do with this? Well, this is what's amazing what you can do with these fish grips. Number one, they lock down just like a vice grip. Once you have them, you have them. They're not coming off of them and they're very, very easy to manage your fish with. Now, one of my favorite things to do, especially if I can't get my hand around a fish, if I can get my hand around the catfish, I usually just pull him in the boat and I grab him and I got him. I can take him off the hook, I can do whatever I want to do. If I can't get my hand around that catfish, he's big enough that I can use the fish grip with him. So I'll pull him up, you know, if it's four or five pounder, I'll pull him up and I'll wait till he opens his mouth and then I grab him. Okay. At this point right here, I've got him. He can flip, flop, shake, wiggle, do everything he wants to do, and I can take him off the hook right here. Okay. If he's bigger than that, if he's so big that I need to put him in a dip net, and a lot of people use dip nets, but what happens when you put a catfish in your boat in the dip net? You've got a big mess. Flop, shake, throws the sinker through the, through the net, got you know you got slime all over everything so one of the tips I'm going to tell you about is how to manage a catfish from the time you put him in the dip net till you put him in the stringer take a picture of him release him whatever it is that you want to do so you hook a fish my partner here he's out here and he's got a, he's got a nice one about a 20 pound blue okay well, we he fights it in here and I put it in the dip net now I stopped right there my fish is captured. He's not going anywhere. Don't get excited. You got him in the dip net. Leave the dip net in the water with the post or the pipe part laying like this in your boat. Just flip it over and let the bag hang down in the water. Does everybody understand that? Just leave the bag in the water. Let the post go down into the boat. Put your foot on it. Put it between your legs. Whatever you need to do just to make sure the weight of the catfish doesn't flip the net back up this way. Now at this point, the fish is captured. You got him. All you have to do is reach down, grab your swivel, grab your line, your monofilament, whatever it is, and pull his head up out of the net. You don't have to pull the whole fish up. Pull his head up out of the net, wait for him to open his mouth, grab him with the fish grip, pull him out of the net. Okay? You don't have all that mass. You don't have all that that junk and, and beating and banging and carrying on uh, in, your, in your boat, 
And from this point here, you can do anything you want with the fish, okay? You can hang on to him, take him off the hook, drop him in the live well, release him, whatever it is that you want to do, you can do that from this point on. And I really would like everybody to give Jeff a hand. He, he, he drove a long way. I met uh, Jeff two years ago at a uh, show when he first, uh, well actually at first I met him at ICAST uh, when he was promoting his hooks. Uh, then I hooked up with him at a show. Uh, I sat there and watched customers that he had come in from all over uh, picking up his uh, bait. Everybody was bragging about it and uh, we, we do a lot of bit bait catfishing around here. So uh, he gave me some, we took it out, we tried it, to catch his fish. So uh, we decided to pick up his line and uh, we'll have the full line of his products in our catalog.